Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome off the grid travel trailer from Forest River. This is definitely one of my favorite floor plans when it comes to the Ibex lineup. This is a 2023 Forest River Ibex model 23 RLDS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ibex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you the rugged, the off the grid Ibex. It's a very awesome travel trailer, especially for adventure seekers. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey guys. Hey Will. How's it going? Rocking and totally rolling. Reverse that. Um, guys, well, I really, really like the Ibex. So that off the grid, off the beaten path, the cool tires. And what a lot of people don't know is you can actually, there's um, roof mounts. So you can put a lot of attachments onto the roof for mm. kayaks or whatever you need. Surfboard, I guess. So The yeah. adventure the seeker. The adventure seekers, yeah. Absolutely, Will. I'm really excited to show everybody. Let's begin. Model is Ibex 23 RLDS. The actual tip tip length is 27 feet 6 inches. This is the Ibex, again, off the grid adventure seeker. This is sister products to the Forest River Nobo. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Now, there, there is some differences. I don't want to say they're not like identical twins. Right. But they're definitely biological, if that yep. makes sense. <laughs> right up here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. This is fiberglass sides with aluminum framing. I absolutely love this front windshield. Right. My favorite feature. Right here, we have a nice diamond plate rock guard there. Okay. And then coming on down, we have very nice passenger storage. And you can see that it does come with a cooktop for you to hook up out there if you want to cook outside. There you go. You do have manual stabilizing jacks, which I don't like that for the price of this right. unit. But this unit isn't this price. It's this price because of the off the grid stuff. Right, they didn't price it that way for the features. Right. Of, or like the comfort features, it's Correct. the off the grid features. Exactly. And sometimes that's kind of nicer for like off the grid, you know When you're I mean? not level. When you're not level, right. Right here we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. I like the blue graphics, I think it looks good. Right here we do have a six gallon DSI water heater. Right here we do have a little spray port if you do need water access to the outside. LP quick connect because right here, this is where you would hook up that grill area. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear Wrangler tires. There you go. Dura attack. I love those. LT 235-75 R16. Very, very nice there. And then coming on down, we do have nice solid steps. Again, a lot of times in the all off the grid trailers, you're not going to get these. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I do like that. Nice grab handle, and then they got a lot of stuff going on. They got here. a lot going on. A cold weather camping package, RV business, top 10 RVs, solar on board, Asdell, Asdell for their sidewalls. Asdell is a green based material and it will never delaminate on you. Yep. Really good stuff here. And then coming around the back, Will, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. And I love how they gave you the off the grid tire right. as well, <clears throat> not some knockoff brand. Ladder to get up on the roof. Will was telling you all about those features. And it is prepped for the Furion backup camera. Cool. Finishing up, Sir William. We do have cable, satellite, 30 amp hookup right there. Okay. Notice how tall this trailer yes, is. Yes, to it, avoid those rocks and exactly, dips in the road and exactly. all that. Exactly. You know, a lot of that stuff is what makes it more expensive. Yes. Right here, we do have a sewer connection, black tank flush. Now there's tons of people that own these that never go rugged, right, they right. go to campgrounds. Do you? Um, Some but, people just like the look of it, honestly. Right, kind of like- It is pretty cool looking. Like my truck, the Pro yeah. 4X, I've never taken it on the dirt. I know. I like the you way it works. You even put off-roading tires and suspension and I don't think it's ever seen a dirt road. Ne never once, Well, Yeah. But again, I still bought it and paid the extra money for it. Same with this trailer. Does anybody need this trailer if they don't go off-road? No, you don't. If you love the way you look, it looks buy it or if you're trying to save some money and you want some higher end features at the same price point i'd look at a different forest river yeah, brand, for sure like the uh, heritage glen to each their own 
that's where you're dumping your tanks. And then over here, fresh water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. City water connection. And then here's the other side of that storage. Okay. All right, well, Will, the outside of this trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. All right, starting up front, you have a bedroom right here. Right next to that is the bathroom right here. Across in the bathroom is the kitchen. And then in the back, you have your living area next to your dining area. Before we show everybody the inside wall, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. All right, well, we are here in the living room area and we have storage above, held yeah. up by struts. I love that. Very good features. Now they don't open up all the way, which is a little unique. That is kind of weird. Even yep. if you like, yeah, that's right. weird. I don't like that at all. We'll touch on that later. You know why? Okay. Well, it's going to be an RV that's hard to find distance. It is. It's kind of simple. So maybe that's what we do right here. We have three windows all the way around. These privacy shades. I like the balances. We have lights here. And then this chair, I don't want to say reclines. Yeah, but it kicks out. Kicks out. Yes. This is a kick out sofa, not a recliner sofa. What I do love is that this unit does come with these little trays. As you can see right there. So you can have little workstations while you're sitting here. Yep. This I also does jackknife down. Oh. All right, lays flat just to make a bed. And then we have power on that side with storage and power on that side with storage. Yes. All right. And then here's where your TV is. Very nice. And then over here is your dinette. Now notice how it's raised up. Yeah. I don't like that. But again, they do that because it can't be in the wheel well because right. of the off the gridness. Right here, have a little lock box there. Very nice. Safe, yeah. With storage. And then right here, more storage. Okay. And then as you can see, this is strapped down uh, for transit. And then it does lay flat to make a bed. I do like how the windows are all the way around. And you do have these little light fixtures there and everything. Very nice. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here. $54,965. Will, that is MSRP. Nice. Sale price. Don't know, the, I don't know the sale price, but Miss Jen, if you could put the sale price right here, please. Yes. Now, well, I might not know the sale price, but there's a number there. And here's what I know about that number. We can always get people a little bit of a better price than that. Absolutely. So if you're interested in this unit, all you gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. What? All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. You can get there, the link in the description below, or you can go to mattsrvreviews.com. We'll right. have a link there. Or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us anyway, guys. We are with General RV. When you reach out to us, we're gonna get you with a member of our team, and we're gonna make sure that you guys get the absolute best price in America. Especially, you need it on a unit like this yeah, one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because again, it's kind of like pound for pound. This is an expensive unit. It is. Um, 
But again, you're getting that awesome off-the-grid feature. So I know it's super popular and a lot of people love it. Yep. Will, let's continue the video. All right. We'll start, I guess, over here with the kitchen. Nice refrigerator right here. This is a compressor fridge. Okay. So it works off 12 volts. I almost forgot this too. Pantry space here. This Dang. kitchen's a little tight right here. Right there it is. Yeah. But and then doable. there's a central vac below central that. Central vac, your little sweep thing. Storage right here all the way across. Right there as well. Yes, sir. And then you have a nice range hood right there by Greystone. Three burner suburban cooktop. This is a little bit of a bigger one, which I'm surprised because it's a small trailer. But you do have the blue lights, no oven, but you do have a convection microwave down below. Over here, you got a nice window on your camping side to let in some fresh air. Nice extension faucet, single bowl round sink. Power right there, storage there. These are not solid surface countertops and they look like the butcher block style. Yeah. They're not real wood, but they still look really nice. A little bit of sponge storage right there, storage there, TV. And then to wrap it up right here, look at that. America. John Cena. There you go. Heck yeah. All right, well, good luck in that shower. Well, it's actually not, I mean, it's gonna be short. Oh, that's a lot better than what I thought it yeah, would be. Yeah, no, this actually, oh my gosh. This wow. has a lot of headspace. You know what? And it's width is okay. I mean, it's gonna pass for because of the size well, of the trailer. Um, this right. would be tight, but, right. but it's still gonna pass. Ding! Well, hang on. Oh, hold on. Travel, as a travel trailer, is that passing? Yes. Oh, no, no. no. Like, as, no, the answer right. is no. As an off the grid travel trailer, is that passing? Yes, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, bing it. Oh, bing! That's the shower test seal approval. Again, yes. for what it is, it's very nice. And then it's got the little thing. Um, does that recirculate the water? It does, it's a shower okay. miser. Yeah, so it recirculates and this will turn red when it's warm, right? I don't know what color it turns. I, it I just look at the color. label. Yeah. And then opening that medicine it does cabinet. Turn red. Perfect. Opening this medicine cabinet right here. Hey, liquefied our there brand of RV toilet treatment. The absolute best in the industry. Yes. Available on Amazon. And then right here, we do have a nice little sink mm -hmm. with storage underneath the sink. Great. And then finishing up, Will. Plastic. Wow. Wap, 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 wap. See, it was a nice looking plastic, so it I was, thought maybe it was porcelain. But well, this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Womp, 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 womp. All right, and then finishing up here in the bedroom area. Look at this. This is the only Ibex that you get an actual bedroom, which is very nice. Yeah. Look at the blue ambient lights. I like that. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is the only floor plan where you get a bedroom? I believe so. Oh. Are you about to correct me? No, I don't know that well, to be honest to confirm nor deny. If there is another one, it's only one. Yeah. And it would be like an RK, but no. Most of them are all that open right. concept. You got um, closet space here, power, or USB there. Drawer right here, power there. I love this, yep. love the front windshield. USBs on both sides, and then little nooks, little knickknack paddy wax. And then we have storage underneath here okay and they all are coming with that tst tire monitoring kit. yep well well that's it that's the review short and sweet on these small off the grid trailers now before everybody leaves it's time to give people three things we love about it and three things we just don't like about it will what do we do first it's gonna be hard honestly but you want to do dislikes first yes did we have one outside no okay we did have one inside. We did. It was over here. It was something silly. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Oh, what was it? It was these, how they oh, only open yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Don't like that at all. Yeah. Oh, you like, can't get nothing real in. Like storage where you put right. stuff like you don't need that much. Right. But like you want to be able to get like a little box in there. You want to be something. able to open that up all the way. Yeah. Yep. That is dislike number one. Well, dislike number two yeah. for me. It's gonna be this raised up again yeah, it has like to that be either. that way but i don't like it it makes sitting here kind of feel a little awkward weird and different i'm just not a huge fan of that right that's number two and then well do you have a number third because i do no i don't this this area to get to the fridge 
it's tight. You know what I'm saying? Right. But again, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'm all like, hey, I want some milk and cookies. Right. And I'm all like, oh, I can't grab my milk. You get milk. reminded hey, yeah. you don't need no cookies. Right. So maybe it's a good thing. Well, I don't know. But that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. Right here. Separation from the living room to the, to bedroom. the bedroom. I yep. agree. Again, this is the only Ibex like it. All the other Ibex are open floor plan concepts. Again, a little separation can be a good thing. That's number one. Well, number two? Number two, I'm actually gonna see how much countertop space is in this for the Ibex brand. Like most of the time, you know, your countertop ends right here. Yes. You know, and yeah, you know, having this little extra space is really, really nice. Great, and then Will, what's gonna be number three? Oh, I know number three, go okay. outside. Come on, Dad, we're going outside. What, I am gonna say the solid steps because a lot of times the off the grid tire, um, trailers won't give you t tire, won't give you uh, outside steps. But I'm gonna say these awesome tires and just the whole off the grid package, the heated right, and closed underbelly, right. the raised up, just everything about this unit. It's really nice, it's cool, and it's what a lot of people are looking for now. Right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in getting an Ibex or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down below. You can get there on our website or you can call 844-969-4033. Well, we are with General RV. There it is. Right there. Yes, sir. And with them, with us, with you, we are going to get you guys the absolute best price in America. That's right. Well, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for checking out this Ibex. It's really cool. I love the off the grid look and off the beaten path. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yeah, so much for watching you. and Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.